my amazing artists. Today we're going to use watercolor paper and talk about symmetry. First, when you get your paper, make sure your name is on the back. Turn it over so it's wide like a window. Today we're going to be using oil pastels for our drawing and we don't even need to draw them with a pencil first. I'd like you to just try to draw it with your oil pastels. Then we're going to use watercolors to go over top. This is an introduction to symmetry. Symmetry is where one thing happens on one side of an object or drawing or even a butterfly. Um, if you look at the wings of a butterfly, what is on the left wing is also on the right wing. So we're going to use that same idea, different colors of blue oil pastel, and we're going to make snowflakes. Now, you can draw them in various sizes. But it starts out with a simple star shape, and then we add a little V on the end of each piece to make it look like a snowflake. I prefer my lines when I'm doing things that I'm going to paint over with watercolors to be nice and dark. If you're feeling adventurous and you really want to use white, you can, it's just very hard to see. I'm gonna trade my blues. Could start with an X and then add a line from the top to the bottom and the left to the right. Add my Vs. These are symmetrical and all snowflakes are because what happens over here is also happening over here. This line down the middle is what we call a line of symmetry. I'm going to turn my paper and try to do one sideways here, just so it looks like my snowflakes are falling from all different directions. They don't all have to be huge. It's hard to draw small, small snowflakes with oil pastels. So make sure you leave yourself enough space to get those little V's in on the end like that. And then I'm going to do a light blue one maybe in here. It's okay if your snowflakes come right up to each other and touch, but having them overlap is not a good idea at this point. Oil pastel tends to blend together when you're drawing, so if you make them overlap, you're going to end up with messy blues all over the place. Oops. You can leave off a line or two if you'd like to make some of your snowflakes look different. Oops, having a hard time getting this blue to be as dark as I'd like. Now remember not to wipe your paper. If there's little crumbs, just kind of leave them alone and they'll find their way off of the paper once they dry up a little bit. I'm gonna make this one a little different and put little balls on the end. I want to see if you guys can come up with other ways to make your snowflakes interesting. How many other snowflake types can you draw? See what happens when you make them too small. Boo. 
It looks like a blue blob. Okay, I'm happy with where I'm at, so I am going to make sure your whole page is filled. I still have a few spots that maybe I could have fit a few more in there. Go ahead and fill up your whole page. The next step we're going to do is go ahead with our watercolors. Now I've introduced this before, so just make sure whatever color you're going to use as your background is nice and wet. I'm going to go ahead and do a blue, and I want it to be a really light blue since I used blue oil pastel. And I am just going to swirl that around. And that's really dark. So I've got a lot of color there that I need to move around on my paper so that my snowflakes don't disappear. Also, teachers, if a student happens to get too much watercolor, you can always take a paper towel, place it, dab, and pull it up and it lightens it immediately, and then they can keep working. If it's too light, they can always go back over it. Make sure you go all the way to the edge, and since we're painting all the way to the edge, that you clean off your tables when you are finished to make sure that they're nice and dry for the next class. Mm -hmm. I'm using a lot of water and a little bit of color. There you have it, your lines of symmetry snowflakes. I hope you talk more about lines of symmetry and anything you see that is symmetrical. There's so many things that are symmetrical. Make sure you clean your paintbrush off, set it back on the tray, not in the water container, and leave the watercolors open so that they'll dry out for the next group that needs to use them. I hope you had fun. Place your watercolor drawings on the drying rack and clean up your table so that there's no water left behind. Have a great day.